Padilla, um, the VP of Strategy for Luminar. Okay, so you're here at uh, Hadoop Summit 2014 and uh, you work with Hadoop. How, how do you work with Hadoop in your organization? Yes, yeah, pretty unique what we do. So uh, we use Hadoop to not only ingest a lot of data in terms of what we're doing, but basically to allow us to create very precise analytics to target that Latino market, the Hispanic market. Okay. Uh, so we're building pretty sophisticated models that are based on empirical data rather than sample data to reach very specific goals for our clients. And so, uh, so you say you're working with uh, sampling data. What for what uh, markets? Is for broadcast? Or broadcast? No. So w what we do is we have transactional data. So we collect data from about 2,000 different sources. Okay. Uh, you know, it could be everything from transactional POS data, uh, loyalty data. We have uh, online, offline, transactional, content consumption. So we collect all that data to be able to create um, an understanding of what a consumer looks like, a Latino consumer looks like, what their footprint is based on those transactions. So uh, were you Hadoop native or did you come from a different uh, architecture? Interesting, yes. We, we had a traditional sort of uh, data environment that was kind of limited. Uh, we migrated to Hadoop in 2012. Uh, we had a more traditional data warehouse environment. We were one of um, Hortonworks' first client. Uh, I think we started, yes, uh, spring 2012. And they've obviously been a great partner, but what really is important about this is that we got an environment that allowed us to scale and grow where we needed to go. Um, and so how's the journey been for you? Like, what, what was it like? Was it, uh, like it's been a, a long two years, a lot has happened. It, it, it has. You know, I think that as a company, we, we started, you know, we, we were taking us anywhere from three days to process data when we needed. That latency was cut down to three hours on average. We went down to, um, the, in terms of the data that we were processing, we had about 3, 300 sources of data. We're about 2,000 sources of data that we're uh, processing, refreshing monthly, about 15 terabytes of information every month. Uh, and so it's, I seen this start as an initiative that had limited data set that we were providing the value to our clients, but not nearly as robust as it is today. So it's really exciting to where we are now. So, so with respect to the rest of your data set, or the rest of your, your data mm -hmm. operations, what, it, what part of it is Hadoop? How does it integrate? So Hadoop basically is it's the technology stack that we have is basically heavy focus on being able to not drive the analytics that we drive. So we're sitting on not only with the data component, but with a mathematical component as well. So we're we're running R, we're running Tableau, we're running everything that allows us to deliver uh, a SaaS-based analytic model for our clients. So, so it's central. Correct. It's and it's and it's a very. I think that the, the I love the term that they use, the data lake, because it, it really is that for us. So we we ingested all these different data sources. We're not sure what we're going to do with them all the time, but with the, depending on the client needs, we start finding those correlations. So we have this hub spoke approach where we can push the data analytic need depending on the project itself. But that repository is there, and the refresh is constantly happening. So it's pretty valuable to us. So you've been uh, involved in the, the community since 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the vibe of this show compared to years past? You know, it's really advanced. I, I think that I, I remember early on some of the early Hadoop shows that we went. The the players were different. I think that now I'm seeing the number of vendors in the space is much more uh, significantly larger. The quality of the, the event is, is also changed as well. So we're getting to see more you know, hands-on examples of what's happening. Uh, the technology track talks are much deeper. Uh, you know, and, and in this event, I'm starting to see much more discussion around, well, what is it going to look like two years from now? You know, is there going to be more consolidation? Is there going to be uh, different aspects of, of the environment that are going to help us advance what we're doing? So really, I think that it's exciting to see what's going to happen a few years from now. And what that question, if you ask me that question two years from now, it would be interesting to see what answer I can give you. Yeah. Any predictions you want to go on the record? What do you think is going to be two years from now? Um, you know, I think this continued consolidation is going to continue to happen. You think you I mean, feel that's the direction it's going? I feel that more uh, vendors, more players are going to mature. Uh, they're starting to mature. I think that what's still uh, challenging is that it's really complex still. So I think that we're going to see that complexity begin to streamline, and that will happen when these vendors start consolidating. Thanks, Oscar. Great. Thank you.